Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Joel, and this is A Stable Life with the Veggie Boys. We're starting things off nice and early, taking things off from the last video. Brian and I already got the disc fixed. Didn't, didn't show any of that, though, because it was so early. We were getting focused on fixing things right out the gate. Right now, we're getting things started. You remember this piece of equipment. That's right, we're starting the morning off with chisel plowing. Now, similar to yesterday, today is going to be a long day. However, today is Thursday, which means Gavin is taking care of our horses for us, which is huge because that allows me to focus on getting hay taken care of today. Something that's already different than yesterday is there is no fog. It is only 8.30 a.m. The fog did not lift yesterday until almost 11 a.m which is great because that means that our drying hours just got increased, which is good because we have a lot of hay we need to bale and wrap today. I'm told all of the hay that we raked yesterday is baled and they took everything that they need for their cows. The remainder that was left over for us is 10 bales. So, so far for third cutting, we are at 10 bales, far better than I would have guessed, guys. You remember back in the spring, I didn't even think we were gonna get a third cutting. I was concerned if we were even gonna get a second cutting, but here we are. All right, now taking a look at our chisel plow because this is currently the job at hand. We are opening up more ground for planting wheat. And so far, the only thing that's out of whack is my mirror. I just need to get my mirror in place here. <sighs> Won't know till I'm in the cab, but I'm thinking that's where that needs to be. We only have one field to do this morning. And then we're heading back and unhooking the chisel plow because this tractor is gonna be used for picking up round bales. So my guess, you know what, I'm not even gonna guess. I'm not even gonna guess. We'll see how the day goes. For now, let's open some ground. Daniel's down there grabbing the silage harvester. Was just down talking with him for a little bit. We're gonna unhook this and hook up to the disc and start working ground. It is still too wet to rake hay. So we're just kind of getting things ironed out for planting wheat in the future, digging up potatoes. Uh, busy time of year, this time of year. Busy, it gets really busy, dies off, and then corn harvest starts, and then things get busy again, so. All right, let's get moving. safekeeping well do you guys remember this field oh yeah this is the one we chisel plowed a couple videos ago now we are here with the next piece of equipment this is what we call a disc for simple reasons there's giant heavy metal discs on this now the way this works is these discs are at an angle so as they are cutting across the ground they actually grab the soil and move it and then back now, as this is going, primarily what we're targeting is this, these giant clumps of roots and soil. You can see them everywhere through this field. I want you to take a notice of how this looks and then we're gonna contrast it with how it looks after it's been disked. Once these clumps are all eaten up and gone, now we've got a nice silky smooth seed bed for that wheat. It's all part of the process. So if you've ever seen these machines and wonder what their purpose is for, it's for declumping the soil after it has been plowed. This is a really old one. This is from white. That gives you an idea. And this, this disc has been here as long as I've been here. And we have fixed it as long as I've been here. <laughs> I, I think the only original part on this thing is actually the frame. Uh, other than that, everything else has been replaced. So let's start rolling through some soil. <laughs> loud piece of equipment. I cannot imagine what this must have been like back when they disked with uh, cabless tractors because you'll get a headache from how loud that thing is. I mean, the sound of steel grinding through rock. Woo. Yeah, it'll make your bones shiver. 
but it gives you an idea it's working good. We don't want to go too fast, it's an old piece of equipment. Better to go through it slow and steady than to break it, and now we can't use it at all. We're spending all of our day fixing it instead of bailing hay, which is the next thing that's on our list. We're just doing this in between baling hay right now because, of course, we can't bail any hay while the dew is still here. So the sun's doing its job, burning off that dew, but the grass is still wet. Fall gets such a heavy dew, it's insane. So we probably won't be able to start hay until minimum an hour from now, but my guess would be more like two and a half hours from now. So. Well, can you see the difference in the field? Yeah, we actually did a really good job of getting those clumps out. The disc is doing a good job. Now, because this is an older disc, it is a lot lighter than the more modern discs. A modern disc is a lot heavier because they noticed that they needed to make them heavier in order for them really to get those clumps out. So, a newer disc would have done a nicer job on this field, but we're not striving for, for perfection here. We're going to be going over this with another piece of equipment after this called a vibrashing. And that will level the soil off completely, preparing it for final stage, which is planting. Looks good though, doesn't it? I definitely think so. Well guys, we have one field taken care of and we're now over here on the next field. Things are going well. And I have a feeling one person in the comment section is gonna ask why the loader is up. So the way that the hydraulics work on this tractor is there is a T valve with a little ball inside. And the way that it works is when I need to use the rear hydraulics and the loader hydraulics, that ball moves back and forth. So the flow goes either to the front of the tractor or the back of the tractor. Well, when you have something really heavy on the back or really heavy on the front, sometimes the ball gets stuck in one of the ways and the other way doesn't work. So for the first little bit of use, since this was moving round bales, um, the ball got stuck on the loader, which meant that the rear hydraulics weren't working. The way we combat that is you raise the loader all the way up, you move the loader hydraulic with the rear hydraulic, and that's, that's how I'm able to use the rear hydraulics. Eventually the ball unstucks and then both move freely. You know, some of you probably don't care, but I know one of you is going to ask, and it's way too long of an answer for me to write out in the comment section. So that's why. As for everything else, things are moving nice. You can really see the disc is working up the ground nice. You can even tell from the sound that this is really deep soil and not very rocky soil. Because that thing gets really loud when you're in the rocky stuff, let me tell you. Alright, well that looks miles better and you can see all those clumps are gone. That looks nice, really nice. One more question I just thought of, which was, I'm sure we're probably going to get a couple people that maybe are going to ask why we're not no-tilling our wheat. Simple answer is we have a no-till corn planter, we do not have a no-till drill. You do need a specialized piece of planting equipment in order to plant with no-till. And simply put, we don't have that for our drill which is wheat, oats, rye, hay, uh, anything like that. That's why we're not no-tilling it. That's why we're doing this. Uh, will we ever do no-till with wheat? I have no idea. But once I know, you'll know. Oh, oh boy, that was a little bumpy. Andrew went and picked me up. I'm done disking. So they're taking me back for lunch, and then I'm gonna switch over and start raking hay. And I think one of them's gonna start disking, finish things off. There's only two fields to go. Quick question, question of the day. How many pumpkins did Joel have to milk for his coffee? Things definitely look really nice. You can see the difference from the chisel plowed ground to the disc ground. Nice and smooth. I just film the videos all the time. Well, we just switched tractors. I am now here with my tractor. We're gonna get started raking hay. I'm getting a hour and a half lead before we really start raking. So we're gonna 
Oh, open up the hydraulic valves, fire up the tractor. I have to re-rake quickly the windrows that were already raked. Just turn them over so that they can start drying down. And then we're gonna start raking the grass that's already there. If I take my hand, run it through, it's dry, slightly damp is what I would say. So uh, another hour of sunlight, it would be completely dry. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I, I forgot my thermos. I fill that with water once I drink all my coffee. Man, all right. Onwards and forwards. you're gonna keep that in the video, but did you see that? He just threw you all the way over to me. That was crazy. So weird. For those of you on the Veggie Boys, I'm also filming for a stable life. And for those watching on a stable life, I'm also filming for the Veggie Boys. Double feature today. Adios. Adios, guys. All right, guys. So here it is. We got 35 round bales for a third cutting. 35. That is like 30 more than we usually get. 
and 25 of which is from the new hay farm. Wow. All right, I think what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna take this camera and we're just gonna put it right here on this round bale and we're gonna do a time lapse showing you guys wrapping hay. Well, there you have it, guys. This is it. That's the last bale that's put on. Andrew's finishing up for me so I can go home and get a shower because Andrew and his wife invited me and my wife over to their house for dinner. So we're gonna head over, get cleaned up. So Daniel's gonna take that home. I will see him tomorrow. Tomorrow is another combined horse slash farm day. The weather has things up in the air in regards to what we're doing, but we'll see. So how do I feel about hay being over for the season? Really good, actually, really good. This was a, a trash hay season. I mean, just look at that, that's crazy. Uh, this, by the way, this puts us up to 171 round bales, which allows us to use 19 per month through to July 1st. Now some months, like October, November, and December, we won't use as that much, but January, February, and March, we'll use um, about 10 to 15 more than 19, depending on the, it's just, it really depends on the season. But if you were to ask me, how do I feel about the number? I feel comfortable with that. That feels great. It's nice to know that we actually have some hay um, and the ability to use it, and it's not a for sure thing that we're gonna be out. So that's nice, that's really nice. It's been a crazy two days, but we're ready for the rain now. Not really, we've got more things we need to do, but with all the hay bailed, it makes us feel good. I don't know what the total is in general. I think I'll be able to give you guys that in the next video. But this is gonna be where we're drawing an end to the video for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And while you're there, hit that like button too. It helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.